So you've always been uh, with the keyboards, is that true, Dan? Yes, I mean, I, I did start out writing a lot of my own lyrics. I, I used to be like a gay folk singer many oh, years no. ago. Oh. Yeah, I, I had to admit it, you know. <laughs> um, well. But over the years, Michael has taken over almost all of the, now he writes all the lyrics. And uh, I still do a few of the older songs in, in the Homo Love Song show that, that have some of my lyrics in So where did all this come from? How did you, you both just sat down one afternoon after you got real high and started composing, right? Well. <laughs> <laughs> How did it happen? Well, I had been doing music for a long time, since childhood, and Michael's more of a visual artist. And I remember when we first got together, he had written some poetry. And we were up on the roof of his house in Philadelphia. And he showed me some of his poetry, and I set some of it to music. So I would say that's how we began. And it, you know, over the years, it's gotten more and more sophisticated in the way that we work with each other. Since when we realized that we were collaborating, you know, it changed form. How, how long have you been collaborating? <laughs> Keeping this. <laughs> uh, this is our fifteenth year. Fifteenth year. Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah. You're veterans. I mean, yep. Yeah. People can point at you and say, "Well, they, they were successful." They do too. They do. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly because of our haircuts, usually. Oh well, they're pretty. Oh. pretty oh, haircuts. Okay. But, I mean, being together for fifteen years certainly has, you know, put you in the hall of fame almost. Well, thanks. Uh, I feel do you that think way. that? Do you think that writing and composing and sharing something together has kept you together? Is that, well, what do you think the impetus is that, that has weathered you through the storm of gay relationships? Well, I think our work has really been a big part of it. Uh -huh. We really live to do our work. And um, I would say that, yeah, I think it's, it's our relationship, the fact that we work together. Yeah, it gets us through the times when I mean, it's not so much anymore because the longer we're together, there's a really strong trust and bonding that I thought was there earlier, but it's getting deeper. And um, I think a lot of the songs come out of, you know, problems in the relationship. And if there's jealousy in there, then we'd have this argument, and somehow we would, it would turn into a performance art piece or a collage or, you know. Yeah, so we have, we have like, like a we lot really of outlets for, out our, in, for our problems yeah. or things that we go through. We act out in our art. What kind of advice could you give to people who are going into relationships today about how to make them work? Or do you make them work? Michael? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My name is uh, Dr. Ruth Vestheimer. <laughs> I would, in what I'm finding out is that it's just through um, it might sound cliche or something, but just through communication and honesty and trust, and Dan knows everything. Everything? It's going on in my life, yeah. Uh -huh. Even the tricks that you have even on the, the side? Even the things that I knew would drive him out of my life. Uh -huh. Because I couldn't live with a person that didn't, that I was, I mean, maybe something as a child or something, I'm not telling Dan, I don't know. I'd have to dig in for that, but in my relationships and being going out and being with whatever in my life, Dan knows about it. And I really see that as the heart and the beat of our relationship. And I really love him for it, still loving me, for no matter what it is that um, I did that was wrong. Nothing's wrong anymore in our, in our, in our life. There's nothing that Dan could do that would be wrong for me. So honesty is the uh, yeah is the bottom line. Yeah, and it hurt. It's like it really hurts to be honest, and when I try not to be, it really hurt also. So I thought, what the fuck? And I just like go for it and say it. And what can it do? Either way, it would sort of yeah. torment me. But I like tell being honest because then I can get through the whatever my head trip is about it. It's not easy for me, but, uh, and, and Dan's doing that also, so it mm -hmm. starts to, it's scary. It's like on the edge, the relationship is always a little on the edge. Well, how do you hold the edge? I, I assume that both of you work together all the yeah. time. I, 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 I assume
assume that you spend a lot of time together. Most Fine. people who have successful relationships are, have some time that one's in the office, the other one is shopping or whatever. Uh, how do you manage to stay in touch with one another so often and still keep a balance? I don't know. It, it, it just it, works, I yeah. think. Yeah, it's um, like relationships are just great. I, I look at Dan and I know who he is and then I think I know who he is. Like, I don't know him still. And I keep trying to keep be open enough so that he's always a new person in my life. When he goes out to the grocery store and I'm here doing something, in his travel, there's something happening for him out there. And in coming back, there's a, he's new. All yeah, I mean, we still have our own experiences, our yeah. own emotional, makeups and the way we even if we're doing kind of the same things the way that we see the world or the way we respond to a certain person or, or thing is is really different really different you know Michael and I have very different reactions to being in the same situation so I think that gives us a certain amount of fuel for for learning and growing and seeing who the other person is 